ultimate tryst with destiny, a moment of eternal glory that shall forever live in the annals of our naval history, was in the month of December 1971 during the indo pak War. In the evening of 3rd December 1971, Pakistan launched an unprecedented and unprovoked attack on the airfields of India. Pakistan launched a full-scale war against us. The Pakistan Air Force suddenly struck at our airfields in Amritsar, Pathankot, Srinagar, Avantipur, Uttarlai, Jodhpur, Ambala and Agra. Bharat keval bhoomi, pahar aur nadi nahi. Bharat keval chela gaon va nagar nahi. भारत उसकी 55 करोड़ संतान ही नहीं भारत एक भावना है In keeping with the highest traditions of our glorious motherland our armed forces responded to the nation's call with valor commitment and courage For the navy it was a coming of age a baptism by fire The onerous task was clearly defined in the inspirational words of the then Chief of the Naval Staff, Admiral S. M. Namba, whose signal to the Navy read, Pakistan has committed an unprovoked aggression against us, and our defense forces have been ordered to meet this challenge with full courage and determination. My objective is to search and destroy Pakistani warships, and along with sister services, to inflict maximum damage on the enemy war machines. No sacrifice should be too much for us. Let us write a new chapter in the history of our services. The commanders of the Eastern and Western fleets, Vice Admiral N. Krishnan and Vice Admiral Surendranath Kohli, were ordered to undertake bold, dashing and spirited forays to annihilate enemy units and harbor installations. INS Vikrant, operating off the coast of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands with Indian naval ships Brahmaputra and Bias in company, was redeployed to as Chittagong. On the morning of the 4th of December, the initial strike was launched at Cox Bazaar from a range of 60 nautical miles. The very same evening, a strike was again carried out on Chittagong Harbour. The squadron of eight Seahawks found their mark, targeting enemy installations at Cox Bazaar and Chittagong. Subsequent strikes were launched at Khulna and Mongla on the 5th and 6th of December, damaging Pakistani ports, airfields and ordnance and fuel dumps. Chittagong Harbour, the airfield and the approaches to Chittagong were completely devastated. There were ships that had capsized. There were half-sunk ships by the quayside. The airfield had multiple craters, and no vessel could even contemplate approaching the harbor. The PTI message bears ample testimony to the success of these attacks. Chittagong Harbor ablaze as ships and aircraft of the Eastern Naval Fleet bombed and rocketed. Not a single vessel can hereafter be put to sea from Chittagong. INS Vikrant, with minimal resources from the Eastern Fleet, 
had successfully carried out the unprecedented task of enforcing total blockade within 48 hours and continued to control the area for the entire duration of the war. The enemy spirit and morale was shattered by the incessant strikes and bombings, which continued till the 10th of December. On the 11th of December, a message from the Commodore Chittagong to the flag officer commanding East Pakistan Navy was intercepted, indicating that a desperate enemy was planning to get away by camouflaged merchant ships. To counter this developing situation, Vikram steamed north, and 29 Seahawk strikes armed with 500-pound bombs and rockets were launched against shipping and targets around Chittagong. The results of the day's work were summed up in a signal from the Eastern Fleet Commander to the Commander-in-Chief. Be pleased to report that at the end of 24 hours of continuous sorties involving constant Elysia Recce and bombing and Seahawk strikes, Cox Bazaar and Chittagong have been rendered inoperative. There is no merchant ship of any size in Chittagong Harbour or approaches which has not been struck and incapacitated. This operation undoubtedly highlighted the decisive impact of an aircraft carrier in naval operations. The enemy submarine BNS Ghazi, deployed to sink Vikram, found a watery grave at the bottom of the sea off Vishakhapatnam Harbour after defensive anti-submarine action by Indian naval ships Rajput and Akshay. Vikrant remained forever invincible.